Hi all, welcome back to our channel and our traveling adventures. In today's video, we revisit Kentucky's Red River Gorge, where we experience one of our most memorable, unique kayaking adventures. Only this time, we do it in crystal clear kayaks. Join us as we explore an abandoned flooded limestone mine with our guide from Sup Kentucky. With our tour scheduled at 1.30 p.m., we had time to first visit the nearby Nada Tunnel. This fascinating single lane tunnel is only 12 feet wide, 13 feet high, and 900 feet long. Drilling and blasting of the tunnel began in 1910, and the tunnel was completed just a year later. This tunnel was originally used by locomotives to transport timber from the now forgotten logging town of Nada, Kentucky to the Dana Lumber Company sawmill in Clay City, which is only 15 miles away. If you are visiting the Red River Gorge, I highly recommend adding this stop to your itinerary. Just make sure the tunnel is clear before going through it. After visiting the tunnel, it was time to head over to Red River Gorge Underground to check in and prepare for our underground kayaking adventure. Be sure to register for your tour online, since tours are usually sold out in advance. We are going to start off with these PFDs over here. You want it to fit you pretty snug because if anybody goes in for a drink today, we are going to be pulling you all up out of the water by those shoulder straps so you don't want it coming over your head. So guys, my name is Michaela. I'm going to be your all sleep tour guide today. We're also going to have Preston with us. But to start off, I am going to give you all some history about this place. And after the history, we do have about a three minute walk to the dock. But does anybody know what we're standing in right now? <laughs> this is an old abandoned limestone mine. When this mine first opened up, it opened up in the early 1870s. Now the first company that was in here was a company called AMC, the Appalachian Mining Company. Now when AMC was in here, it actually looked nothing like this. It was more of a 12 by 12 tunnel right there where you all took those pictures to this back hill right here. Now when AMC was in here, they'd done everything by hand, so it was so tiny. But once AMC left this place, the Natural Bridge Stone Company owned by Hinkle come in here. Hinkle had a lot more money, a lot more equipment, and a lot more boom boom sticks. So if you guys want to take a look up there at that ceiling, you'll see just how careless they were with those boom boom sticks. But when Hinkle was in here mining and blasting this place out, they hit something back there in the ceiling. What do you all think they hit? Water. Water. They had an underground aquifer. Now they wasn't too worried about it at first, they just pumped the water out and kept mining. But as they kept mining and blasting, they hit that same aquifer 12 different times. Putting in 32 million gallons of water in this mine. Now after this, that led them going bankrupt. So this place fell in the hands of the Wolf County Bank. Now when the bank had this place, they had it for about 30 years and it was a big local playground. If you want to take a look right over here on this column, you can see one of the trespassers that did come in here. His name was T. Red, and he did come in here in 91. Once um, a guy from Ohio come down here and seen how much land the bank had owned, and he actually purchased this whole place for $20,000. Now he had a couple ideas. At first, he was going to build cabins on all the land. Can't build cabins on a hollow mine. Then he was going to do ATV tours, but ATVs don't float. So we actually opened up the gorge underground in 2015 and we migrated over here in 2017 and we opened up Sup Kentucky. So I am gonna ask you all to pop on those headlamps. We are gonna head down here. It does get pretty dark and it is rocky and narrow, so just watch your step as we head down here. If you all take a look over here to your right at the water, you will see that it is crystal clear. And it is gonna be crystal clear today throughout the whole port. The reason that this water is crystal clear is because limestone acts as a natural filtration device, so it's constantly filtering through this water. So if you guys will be grabbing these orange paddles right here. I'm going to ask you all to watch your step, it does get really narrow. But we are going to be going off to the right over here. Now we are going to be getting onto our floating dock, so it does move and get a little bit, but that's natural. What color would you want? Oh. I would say the lot and the lot blue is the best to see out of. All right, let's do that. Which one? Uh, white. Awesome. Give me just a second. Perfect. I could lay your paddle down for you. Step right there in the middle. Use my shoulder if you need to. 
As we paddle through the mine, you could hear water pouring through parts of the mine ceiling from the natural spring above. The mine had remained in operation for a few years after the leaks had developed. It was only after the cost of keeping the water out was higher than the mine's profits that the mine ceased operations, leaving behind stockpiles of limestone and equipment that could not be retrieved. The water pouring through the mine ceiling is about 99.5% pure. The other 0.5% is extra calcium. The water depth fluctuates about two feet between the summer and winter months. How deep is it here? While the cave feels endless, there are actually only five and a half miles of alleys and passageways. We probably only cover a mile of that. There are also two different tour companies that operate out of the mine. The Gorge Underground, which operates out of the front end of the mine, and they offer classic boat and classic kayak tours. And there's Sub Kentucky, which operates out of the back end of the mine. They offer crystal clear kayak and crystal clear sub tours. Prices and group sizes vary depending on the tour. Be sure to check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. Slowly climbing away from us. Now this is a good indication. 
If you are looking for a unique kayaking destination, I highly recommend touring this limestone mine in South Kentucky. Be sure, though, to book your reservation in advance. We were told while we were there that they will soon be hosting unguided tours, and that might be something that we'll check out in the future. Thank you all for joining us on this adventure. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you like this type of content. Hit that bell notification to get a reminder of future videos. A special thanks to all our channel members. If you'd like to further support the channel, become a member and get an awesome little dolphin beside your name to show off your support.